Welcome back. I'm Liam Stapleton, consultant podiatrist and specialist in podiatric sports medicine, and we're going to take a look through another treatment video. Uh, today's demonstration is of a plantar fascia injection of corticosteroids. I have a slightly unique technique when performing this injection, and there are several techniques that can be used. Uh, this is my favourite, as it seems to be the most comfortable for most patients and gives me accurate injection uh, with good results. I perform uh, the injection in two parts, with the first with a local anaesthesia injection. For this I'm using 2% lidocaine, uh, which tends to be very fast acting. And this numbs are approximately a small uh, 50 pence piece size of uh, the plant aspect of the heel and this means that the second injection is a lot more comfortable. The second injection is using a larger needle and it is a much deeper injection. Uh, my preference for this injection is to use Depamedrone. This gives a nice slow release and long lasting result. I use a 27 gauge inch and a half needle and this again is for patient comfort. Uh, I'm performing the injection under ultrasound guidance. We're aiming for uh, the area of uh, most pathology and this is usually on ultrasound visualized as the thickest portion of the tendon. Utilizing color Doppler signal will also highlight areas of inflammation having said that the majority of plantar fasciopathies uh, show little to no inflammatory color doppler signal uh, as the plantar fascia uh, struggles to maintain a high level of inflammation with its poor blood supply firstly we identify the area we wish to inject i'm uh, coming across plane with this injection you can see on the screen the needle entering and crossing over at the area we're injecting once we're at the level we need to be we administer the injection uh, which as you can see takes a matter of seconds this is also uh, almost pain-free with the vast majority of patients saying the first uh, local anesthetic injection is slightly more uncomfortable than the second corticosteroid injection the first injection tends to feel like you've trodden on a wasp. So not overtly painful, uh, but stings slightly. Uh, thank you for watching, and please subscribe and like the video.